All right, YouTube, we're here today with something new and exciting. And when I say new, I mean used <laughs> and exciting to me. This is the newest unboxing. It is an ASH-26. And yes, that's like an ASW-28, except that this is a composite plane, a sailplane. And I've had it modified to receive a motor on the nose. And it's also awesome. <laughs> I have to keep all this stuff because it's like super special. And that's what it looks like, guys. Except it looks really honestly pretty bad in the picture, I think. I do not have the air brake assembly. That was evidently sold out of this kit. And then with this wonderful kit, the guy that sold it to me, Ian, super nice guy, did all sorts of awesome drawings and things. And tons of handwritten notes. Because I do not know how to work with composite planes yet. I'll be learning with this one. And it's still going to be awesome. Don't you worry, guys. <laughs> so we're just going to put this lid to the side. Oh, actually, let's show them the specs. Show me the specs here. Now these specs aren't necessarily going to be exactly correct because uh, this plane is going to have a motor now, so it's going to change things a little bit. Um, but this this plane doesn't come normally with all the fairway bags. <laughs> this this is a special edition that I got. Um, when you buy a plane on RC groups. This is pretty much what you expect to get, and to be honest, it was a good experience. The problem is when you get people that are like me, that are also obsessive about radio-controlled airplanes, it's kind of hard to do anything in less than an hour. So we have an instruction manual here. We have some stickers that have not been applied. Look at this. Look at this awesome sticker here. It's it's a cockpit control panel. That is so cool. Um, and I've got just tons of stuff in this box. This is, see the problem is if you buy this from China, if you find out where in China to buy this, get one, because it's gonna be awesome. You just wait and see. All these bags, <laughs> there's like a million of them in here. Jeez. I, I'm just scared I'm gonna miss something here. You better give them a shot of this, because it's pretty phenomenal right now. What is this? There's a chunk of foam in here. And I don't know if that's packaging material or an aircraft part. It looks like it came it's, off of an unfortunate aircraft. It does. That doesn't so look we're going to put like that aside. Ending. That could be important later. And this thing packs in here in just a certain way. And the idea is that you can kind of take and transport it later. But guys, look at this is when you realize, whoa, that's why you get a composite plane. Look at this. Ooh, wow. Look how beautiful that is. That is cool. Look how nice it is. It's just, it feels smooth like the finish on a vehicle. Um, and I'm just going to, whoa, whoa, buddy, look at that, guys. And I'll probably have to redo this so that it's got like foam or something in it soft foam because I have access to a lot of it at work um, and most people don't work for packaging companies well <laughs> I do and I also receive a lot of stuff that's very heavy and it comes well packed because the stuff that we sell costs thousands of dollars not hundreds of cents so oh whoa that is so gorgeous look at that guys and this is what I'm talking about the motor mount I actually have the nose, incidentally, as well. But just show them how nice this looks. Look at this, guys. You don't see this. Like, you can't even feel it. It's clear-coated. I could put a decal on this and peel it off, and it would still be there. Look how gorgeous this looks. Give them a shot down there. That's... And this thing is light, guys. I mean, it's not like... It's, it's got a little bit of weight to it, but this thing is way lighter than a foam one. It's like twice as light. Here, you feel it, camera feel woman. It. Oh, wow. Holy it's cow. It's crazy. It's like, it like feels like nothing. It's way lighter than I thought it was You're thinking, 
like hold on, let's 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 do a comparison. Let's do a comparison, guys. Sorry about the mess. I'm trying to avoid the mess. This thing weighs more than this thing. Yeah. This I'd thing weighs it. more than this thing. And it doesn't have a battery in it, but still, a battery wouldn't weigh much anyway for that plane. Oh, I'm so excited. This has a retractable gear. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to go ahead and do that. Of course, it's an R, so I have to install some servos and things. This is the, this is some of the millions of handwritten notes oh my goodness. that he's already made for me. Like I said, this guy is, he's like me. He's obsessive about this stuff. And so these are the types of notes that you get from people like me. <laughs> and this is... This is what the nose would look like. It normally has a guide for the toe release, but look how tight of a cut he made. We lost maybe one millimeter. So you could actually reattach this later if you wanted, which I'll be keeping that plug, obviously. And what you would do is, the function of that would be if you were gonna do a pure sailplane or if you were gonna do toe system. Um, and this tray, this is where the servos would go. And of course the instructions, they have these double up plates. And then if you get a shot down there, there's a carbon fiber tube mm -hmm. that will, that's, that's an, a modification that he made. You can see it's poking out there. We gotta get that all lined up. There's tons of little steps, guys. This is not like, and look, the attention to detail is just insane. He, he's smoothed all this stuff over. So anyway, um, these are the details that make the difference between a heavy, high wing loading uh, plane and a light, low wing loading plane that's still the same size. Because obviously planes weigh something, okay? Um, and there's just no getting around that part. Let's pause it so I can put this packaging away a little bit. Okay guys, so we just went through the small stack of bags there. Every single one of them painstakingly to make sure we didn't miss any parts. And uh, here's the horizontal stabilizer and elevator. You can see how nice that is. And it's, it's not, it's like lighter than foam, but it's stiff. It won't give like foam. And you can see how that's going to look. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> And then we found a little piece of model coat, touch up model coat that he had put in there. And then um, let's take these wings up. Look how look how narrow that wing is, guys. It's very narrow. This is two wings, by the way. And one thing about these wings is that uh, Ian had basically had one kit that he had a problem with, and he was able to handpick. The pieces he wanted to keep and then he sent back the one that was messed up. So we're going to open these up here real quick with the understanding that at some point I may repack this slightly different. Look how straight that is guys. Look how perfect that is. That is so awesome. Big aileron. See the hollow? Mm-hmm. Okay, now do you guys see this little area here? That is where the air brake would be. Can they see that in the video? I don't know. I'm trying it's to get where you can see the shine. There's a little a little void there. Mm -hmm. That's where the air brake would be. And you can see that basically I will have to feed something through to actually get. But look how perfect this covering is, guys. It's like a perfect seam. I've never actually owned a plane until tonight that has such tight covering that's balsa. This wing, it does not bend. It does not bend, it's very stiff. And then the other wing, same thing. You can see that guys. There's your wing span. It's going to be something like this. And you can see that it's just got almost no dihedral on the wing itself. And then when it's mounted to the fuse, which just feels so light, it looks like China. That's 
going to be beautiful, guys. And there's winglets that go on this. The ASH has winglets, guys. So um, we'll pause it and we'll get that unpackaged so that you can take a look at it too. All right, guys. So the canopy. Oh, we got a dog hair in here. Yes. Don't forget the dog hairs, guys. So it's blue, which is a little bit weird. And it says ASH26 on the inside. That's pretty cool. Can you see it? I think a little bit. It's pretty hard to see. So that is very tight fitting. And then this will sit on there. And with some trimming, it shall be a perfect fit. I kind of like the blue. It's almost like, yeah, so that's, that's what that's going to look like there. It's going to be pretty stinking awesome, guys. So, with some more digging, I'll have some more stuff for you. <laughs> that was inside of here. And then, okay, so there's, there's a piece back here, and this is yeah. a rudder. Oh. Um, the rudder, of course, is separate on this. So it might as well be another wing or something. But just feel how light that is. It's, it weighs nothing. It's like nothing. Jeez. It's nothing grams. It's crazy. Nothing grams. It's actually eight grams, by the way. That's what that means. Oh. But yeah, that's going to go there. And it's going to be gorgeous. Looks a little bit short. Oh, that's because I don't know which way. I think it, it goes mm -hmm. probably that way. And yeah. then there's room for the elevator to move. So that that's going to be awesome. Um, all right, so there's more inside of here. Oh wait, there's stuff on the front too that you guys haven't seen. Why don't you just come around here and give them a shot of this because I don't want to untape all this stuff yet. But there's a metallic spar that's going to go between the wings and then there's some other stuff in there that I don't quite understand yet before I actually get into it. And then inside here, we've got the retractable landing gear assembly. We've got a retractable landing gear and then we also have the winglets here, which the winglets look like they're made of plastic, which is sort of surprising to me. Let me go ahead and pull these staples. We'll come right back. Okay, so we got the... The sharklets or winglets. I guess these are actually sealed up. Um, Whoa, I thought they were plastic. Didn't sound and like they one. are plastic, but they, they're like really high quality plastic. And just give you an idea that there's gonna be a bit of an angle. Here, let's see what they look like on there. Let's grab one of the wings. Let's see what it looks like, guys. There's a couple holes to receive this. Oh, that's gorgeous. <clears throat> Oh yeah. Oh, buddy. That is so gorgeous. And it's not quite as cartoonish looking as an ASW-28. That's one of the reasons I like the Ash 26. I don't say Ash, I say ASH. So, got the landing gear assembly. This gear assembly will actually go in uh, the way that you see this complex thing? This is how the actual landing gear doors work, um, if I recall. And then there's some extra standoff pieces and the landing gear doors themselves, which will open something like this. And then the tire, of course, will be allowed to protrude. So nice high quality brass fittings in the middle. That's surprisingly high quality. And then we've got servo cover plates, guys. These servo cover plates, oh, I thought there was a protective film on there. I was going to say they've outdone themselves again. Actually, there might be a protective cover on there. <laughs> so we got one of those for, looks like that one's bigger. So that must be for the tail. Then these are for the ailerons. And then these are standoffs um, for installing servos. The wooden trays. And then the landing gear itself. Oop, 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 oop. He gave me some extra 
whatever size this is, nylon screws. I'm gonna lay them right here, hon. So we can go back and get those later. Okay. Oop, there's another one in there. No, there's not. It's just this. But guys, this is a rubberized China Model Productions. Wow, it's got a latch in it. That is so cool, guys. Look at that. At a certain point, the mechanical advantage becomes greater. That's awesome. And then, of course, this um, this whole framework, this whole framework will ride in the plane and you can uh, retract it in the gear door. Oh, it's gonna be so gorgeous, guys. Look at this. Sorry, I can't help but try this. Oh, that's so cool. Look at that. It's gonna be awesome, guys. It's gonna be totally awesome. Too bad you're not like excited about this plane or anything. I'm not. I'm just kind of bored by it. All right, so there's some more goodies in here. Let's see what else it is, guys. All right, we'll pause it and go through the bags again until we verify they're empty. So this was what was in there, okay? So this is the mechanisms that were included both by the manufacturer and then the ones that uh, Ian had left for me as well. You can see there's just a bunch of different strange things that will make better sense as I assemble this plane. There's enough complexity to this plane that I'm not going to know exactly what all of it is. And then he gave me all the broke out plugs. Um, so yeah, so that's what we got, guys. It looks gorgeous. I'm really excited to see it together. Um, it's just a really pretty plane. And just, I've never had a plane with a clear coat on it. So it looks wonderful. I'm really excited to let you guys experience the build, which is going to be, oh, probably at least one or 30 long, one or the two. You've seen my builds before, though. You know what it's going to be like. It's going to be awesome. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. You can see this beauty fly as quick as I can get it built.